Hey folks, Bobby Barrick here from the T-Fed Satellite Mobile. We are doing a little bit of fat frog fishing today. Let me get those guys right, right there. You know, uh, once you get into those summer months and that spawn's kind of done, um, you know, you gotta bounce around, you gotta find these fish. You know, they'll get scattered. Some of them be, um, you know, around that fry. Um, so I'm just gonna put the trolling motor down and I'm gonna go, and I got two baits right here. I'm gonna go with the fat frog today because that water's up in the bushes a little bit. Um, the fat frog for skipping and getting it to tumble and getting it another two feet, sometimes four, five, six feet, depending on how it hits, I can do that with this. The Bobby's Perfect Frogs, mainly I'm target fishing, matted grass. You know, of I mean, I throw that thing 90, 80 plus percent of the Catch time. Catch him, boy! Catch him, boy! That was nice, Trav. What does that bass got in his nose? Is that a perfect frog? Let me zoom in on that. Yeah, that looks like new bullfrog right there. That's it. But today, um, because of the situation that I'm in, where I'm just going to cover a lot of water, I'm just going to go, go, go. But I need a bait like this that uh, there's going to be those times Down where I got to... I got to slide that sucker way back underneath uh, some bushes, or I got to get it as far in there as I can. There she comes. That was awesome. Um, so, and I haven't been on this part of the lake uh, for quite a while, so I've got my work cut out for me. I'm just going to bounce. I'm going to cover as much water as I can in the shortest period of time. And uh, we'll see what we come up with. So the stealthy approach is going to what we're, I'm going to do that a lot. And again, when you're doing that and you're letting, I'm just going to be some, some key little stretches, key little pockets, key little spots where I got multiple targets here and I got to hit them kind of quick. I'm only going to fish that thing, that frog, two, three, six feet, hustle it in and try to get another one. That's why multiple casting angles, learn to get good with your left hand, get good with your right hand, sidearm, overhand, the Circle S, of course, the Bobby's Perfect cast, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to do a video on that very shortly. But um, again, sidearm slipping in there, getting a little bit of speed, nice little touch with the, with the, sometimes it's just nine feet. Sometimes it's 12 feet. Sometimes it's 22 feet. But different angles, different, without touching your trolling motor. Get as much as you can before you have to adjust and hit touch that trolling motor. cool fat frog Thursday baby see that one there <clears throat> I've got an extension that comes out these willow branches extend out there quite a ways and that water temperature is over 80 degrees so they're gonna be a little bit deeper they love that stuff shallow next to deep and it's just an off-ramp it's a high it is an absolute off-ramp off of the highway for to McDonald's right so that's the deal you know, one of the other things that I will do a lot today, I guarantee you, is I will, th there's not a lot of breeze right now, but I know that there's, there will be breeze off and on during the course of the day, four miles an hour, five miles, six miles, maybe seven, eight, something like that. And then it's gonna calm back down to two, three, two, three. And then there'll be those periods of time where it escalates from four to six. It's during those times where I will try to position my boat and let that breeze just kind of push me through. Most of the stuff that I'm fishing right now is one to three feet deep and a lot of it is 12 to 14 16 inches so the less time that i can spend with my foot on the trolling motor the more fish i'm going to get bit by come here you that is why we call it fat frog thursday right there i don't know if you saw that that was so cool thing the spawns over with for the most part there will still be some oh i need to be thrown right oh way up there in the dirt that's why i'm throwing the fat frog the fat frog just skips better and I can get it up underneath stuff and it's, it's just, it's flatter um, and it just skips better than my perfect frog. The perfect frog for the outside stuff, I still throw the perfect, I got three perfect frogs laying over there. I got two uh, fat frogs. I got one white one. Always have a shad pattern this time of the year when that shad thing kind of happens, they blow on shad, either the gray ghost or the alabaster for me. 
And then, of course, I got the bluegill because there are still some that are protecting fry. Can't stand this guy. And then post-spawn females, you know, kind of not really wanting to chase the shad. They don't, you know, baby bass, every once in a while a little baby bass will kind of creep by, look at that, and she'll just do that as long as she doesn't have to chase anything down. Bluegill, little pack of bluegill come creeping through. Mama's sitting back here underneath the stump next to a big, next to a cypress tree, next to a willow tree, next to a button willow, whatever it may be. And here comes a couple of goofy little bluegills like that. And they just kind of stop. And they're like, what's that? Ooh, where'd Charlie go? <laughs> right? And so that's why that bluegill is just so, I mean, from March until November. I've always, I've 12 months out of here. I've always got the frog tied on, the, the bluegill frog. But uh, especially now. And again, going back to the fat frog thing, um, it, it just tumbles better. Um, the body is a little bit shallower than mine. Mine's a little bulkier. Uh, it's a little buffier. Um, this guy here, he's a little bit more compact, a little bit tighter to the surface of the water. And it's, it's, got, a, it's got more surface area on the belly. It's flatter, got a flatter belly. belly. Mine's got more of a Noah's Ark type of a belly. Um, so this guy hits and it will tumble and skip. A lot of times you'll get two feet, three feet, sometimes five, six feet extra. If it hits just right, and it just generates more momentum and more speed, it's flat rock. And sometimes you just impress yourself before you get this thing, I mean, gets up in there. That fish back there, I'm done with the cast. I'm winding it in and I see this, I see this fish coming hard. And so I just drop it back in the water. Boy, kind of oh where boy, she just kind of, I was like, that is that a gar? Cause I've had a few gar chase and, uh, and she stayed on it and I got, I, I'm looking down at it, I go, oh, that's a black. And so I put it in the water, twitch, twitch. She turns around on it, recognizes it, never even that sees me. Awesome. She is so focused on that. I mean, that's about the most realist bluegill pattern you're ever gonna see. She is so focused on where'd that bluegill go? I'm gonna kill that thing. And then all of a sudden the bluegill just hits the water again, pop, 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 and she, just a full blown reaction bite. Totally, totally awesome. That's why I decided way back there to call this Fat Frog Thursday. So. That was a fat frog Thursday fish that was just completely tuned up and I just had to make it a little more convenient for her to eat it. Fishing the moment, awareness, bait awareness, fish awareness, awareness of your surroundings. Finish this cast before you make the next cast. I was, I was finished with the cast. No, 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 she's gonna prolong this cast. She's gonna chase it back. What do you do? Oh, wow, look at her go. No, wind in, throw, try to trigger that fish. That's what just happened. Hopefully, hopefully you learned something from that. I'm Bobby Barrick from Bobby Barrick's Bass Class on YouTube, and uh, hope you learned something today about the old fat frog. Talk to you soon. God bless.